going to be doing a seven summer style series. These looks are celebrity inspired, use no heat and are simple and easy to do. These are the looks that I'm going to be showing you how to do over the next series of videos. These videos are going to be split into three parts. Sorry if these screenshots are a bit bad but these are just ones that I randomly grabbed from the videos. So as you can see they all incorporate braids and they're just some are up to, some are down, some have volume, some are in buns, they're all, there's lots of variety. This style and the following three you're going to see are all the four that I'm going to show you how to achieve in today's video. This first look that you see here is inspired by Whitney Paul. This look is so easy and simple to do and yet it looks really fun at the same time. The second look here is inspired by Nicole Richie's Bohemian Braids, which look kind of casual and bohemian, but still really sophisticated and put together at the same time. It's also inspired by the Zip the Biscuit album. The third look is inspired by The Hills, it's Lauren Conroe, and it just incorporates that sort of easy, sort of beach sort of waves. Yeah, none of these styles, as I mentioned earlier, use heat. This last look is just an after effect of all the braiding. Hi everyone, so today I'm filming my summer braid hairstyles. I'm going to try and fit as many braids sort of styles in here as I can and I hope that you enjoy it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye. So I'm just starting off by brushing my hair because when you braid your hair it's like you don't really want to be trying to pull on it to untangle pieces when you're trying to pull them around into the braid. By the way, I have my mirror positioned over there so that's why I'm going to be looking kind of in that direction. First one, I'm just starting off and I'm going to take my part in from this side, but you can use it on that side. I just prefer it when it's in the centre. Um, and part your hair in the middle. It doesn't have to be very precise because the good thing about summer beachy hairstyles is it doesn't matter what they really look like. So this one's really simple. I'm just taking, if you get two things like this, and take it and grab this little section of hair there. If you look just like that, it doesn't have to be neat. Now pull it over into this direction, twist it, really tight kind of, and you can see it's starting to form this little twist. Now when you've done about two twists, pick up wherever you are, like wherever the twist bit end, pick up another piece of hair, just a little bit, doesn't really matter. Hold that in it and do another two twists, pick up another little piece of hair. The important thing with this is, as you're going along, you have to make sure that your twists are very tight so as, you know, they actually don't just go all loose because then the kind of, the look is harder to see instantly so it won't be as noticeable. So I'm just pulling this hair back and carry on doing this until we get about to here. And then when you get there, just take some hair clips, I've just got these ones from Super Drugs, and just take any one of them and clip it like that. Now my best way I think is to keep them in place all day is to take one, put it in this direction and put one and put it kind of in that direction so as you're making it across with the, like a cross like that, like um, a time sign. Because um, then it, I feel that it holds it more. And as you can see there, that is what it looks like. And it's really nice, I think like you can either keep it as just to one side and then have this side down like that or you can go ahead and do the other side. Now I'm going to do this one really quick and then I will come back here and show you. Okay so I've now done that. Brush your hair nice at the front to make sure all the kind of tangles are gotten rid of and this is so lovely and bohemian it kind of feels a bit luxurious because I just feel like it makes your hair look nice and polished together and it took you like no time at all and it's just really nice. So as I said you can have it on that side, you can have your partner on this side or you can have it in the middle. I personally think that it looks best in the middle just because it's easier to get it even, it doesn't look unbalanced but it's completely up to you. Um, if I just show you up close, so I'm not sure if you're able to tell but in real life you can definitely see um, where the twists are and by adding those pieces in it just gives it more dimension I think and there you can see it just twisting back so now you could either go out like this for the day and just leave it like that or you could then don't bother with a brush because it's good to be loose put both your hands either side of your face and just go back grabbing the hair that is down and taking it up 
then get the ones from below at the back of your head and then just kind of knead it off but don't be too careful about it until it gets here so now when you get there if I turn around on about this part of your head start twisting it round and do a really tight twist all the way to the end and then start by going round on itself you put your hand there and then start by going round and tuck every last piece just under until you've done it the whole way now just grab a hair bubble any colour, it doesn't matter and then you should just tie that and now this feels really nice and firm and secure now this is good if you want it to look nice and neat and polished and everything um, you know, it'd be good for maybe something more formal however if you're just going out for the day and you want it to look a little bit more relaxed then take your hands here and just kind of massage your head a little bit like just put your fingers round like this and it will loosen it up a little bit pull out any front sections you've got here that looks nice so loosely pull out little sections all around your head like that however don't really touch these pieces because you want them to kind of stay in a little bit you can mess up this a little just run your hands over and this is lovely for the daytime I really like it, thinking about it, I haven't worn this in so long and I just want to wear it like right now but I've got to just get on with the rest of the look, the rest of the tutorial but I would happily go out like this, like definitely and yeah, just I just love it, it's so, I think it's really cute but it still looks kind of older just with the centre part in, these go back and then like that so now, from here, it's funny how they kind of all link on so you can have it down with the braids and then you can put it back or from here, what you can do is if you get some hairspray I'm just using the James Brown London one it has a lovely smell of bluebells and just get it, I'll turn around and kind of spray it onto the bun if you want to be even more precise, you can spray some onto your hand and then grab it like that now I'm going to leave this to dry for about a minute, it won't take that long, it won't take a couple seconds but just to be sure, or as I said, best to live it in all night and then when I take it down it's going to be these lovely boho waves and that is going to look even better than this I think this is good to have with just straight hair if, that, if you want it to look more put together but if you want it to look more beachy, this is definitely a good step so yeah, I'll just wait and I'll be right back so I've left this on now to set for long enough so I'm now going to take this down now as you take it down, be careful not to kind of run through the curls too much because they're not totally set, it's not like you've curled them or anything with curling irons but they're just going to have a loose sort of wave to them. Now I don't know if you can see this, I'll move right back but they've got this kind of beachy just boho-y big sort of loose waves, it's not curls I don't think by any means but it's definitely waves Um, it's just giving it texture and a bit of volume, just a bit of a boost and um, yeah I don't know if you can see, I really hope you can, but it is just nice and it's like, like out there, so yeah, that would be nice if you left it on overnight, maybe put slightly a bit more hairspray, but I hope you can tell, I started off with hair like straight like this. This is what it looks like now, so yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. Now what you can do to kind of emphasise the poofiness is slightly back comb, I know you should use a comb but I like using a brush, I just place a brush on the hair, um, I've got a paddle brush here but you can use whatever brush and just do this to the root, like well, you should do it up here but oh well, um, you can do it wherever I think and if you just do that, it's going to lift it up more from the head and just make it a bit more boho, well you can do it at the back here because that's got braids on, you don't really want to make it up so if you do that and then poof it a little bit it is just nice and big, like kind of goddessy hair so that is the third one now after that, I think you could probably take these out because I'm going to move on to a different hairstyle but that's basically three looks you can get out of just simply having those braids up so I've taken that out just made these go loose oh, and look, that's another one when, by the time you take that out, these are really wavy but <laughs> currently can't that, that is a proper wave though at the bottom there, do you see that? cool 
just from doing that. So I straightened my hair this morning as well, and this is what I've got on it like. So yes, I guess that's a fourth. <laughs>